Good afternoon. Welcome to the Lady Cats Den here at Hazen Union High School. Quarterfinal action today. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Oxbow Olympians. Lady Cats with the number two seed. Olympians with the number seven seed. Olympians got here but courtesy of beating Bellows Falls. Hazen beat Winooski last week. Winner of this game next Thursday night at the Odd. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.ctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics. Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Opening tip. Controlled by the Lady Cats. Full house, raucous crowd here. A lot of people making the drive up by number one. There's Alexis Christensen. The A to the B of the Christensen connection, hitting down for a three. Puts the Cavits up, three zip. Right from the start. Oxbow, tough team, young team, but tough. Tries to answer back with the three. That was Braley Phelps. Spinner down. Haley Mitchell. Hailstorm. Right off to the start here. Man, this place is electric right now. Caitlin over to Tessa. Tessa, soft shot off the glass, doesn't go. Caitlin with the rebound, goes out of bounds. Clyde Cook, our referee, gives the ball to the Olympians. Oxbow, going around, checks the spin around, throws up a shot, doesn't go, rebound, and back in. Emerson Fuller, that was Maggie Ellsworth on the drive. He's an up 5-2. 6.40 left to go in the first. Caitlin, nice pass over to Haley. Mitchie can't quite get it. Emerson Fuller with a tall, little bit of height on Haley and a little bit of a reach. Was able to get up over to get that rebound. Here's Spear, drops a pass off. Spear once again, looking around. Ball tipped. Cats ball. I don't think I've ever heard the student section as loud as they are right now. Oxbow cheering on their team as well. Christensen with another three, that one's off. Rebound, Ella. Ball rolls out of bounds, gonna go to the Olympians. Five fifty-seven left to go in the first. People still coming in, it's crowded. Good to see. Three-second call. Turns the ball over to the Cats. Here comes Caitlin. KKK Caitlin. Sits it over to Ella. Here on the near side, Tessa grabs it. Alexis swings it to Caitlin. Caitlin wants to go. Puts up a shot, soft one, short. Gets a rebound. Inside, Haley, turn around, high off the glass, isn't going to drop. Ellsworth is going to grab that one, see if she goes coast to coast. Wants to go coast to coast, throws up a shot, doesn't go, nothing happens. Rebound, uh, ball plinkoing around in there. Ellsworth up again, good second effort by Maggie Ellsworth, the sophomore. Cuts the lead to one. Catch up 5-4, looking for a hoop. And they're going to call Ellsworth on the arm. Coach Jay Clark letting Clyde, he doesn't like the call. Alexis drop pass in. Caitlin goes across the middle, whole bunch of purple jerseys right there. Gets it back to Tessa. Alexis frees up. Caitlin. 
That ball was, I think, believe blocked from behind as Caitlin was trying to go up for it. Long shot by Ellsworth. Short. Goes out of bounds. I have a couple of side notes on everything, too, here. I don't know if I'll get time to even work them in, but I'll do my best bet here to talk things over. All right. Caitlin. Alexis Christensen off on the three. Rebound. Emerson Fuller, a force underneath for rebounding for the Olympians. Tall girl. Here's Eldworth. She's quick, not afraid to take traffic. Ellsworth puts up the shot. Four points for her, and she has given the Olympians a one-point lead here with four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Tight game. Cats come in not having lost a game since their very first game back in December up at Enosburg. They won every one since. Caitlin Short. Ellsworth once again driving in. Dips underneath. Making it look easy. Splits the defense. Goes in for the layup. Christensen puts up a three again. That one's off. Rebound. Libby Swift. Libby Swift and Emerson Fuller give them a lot of height underneath there. Tessa, the barefoot Contessa, anticipating that one pretty well. Here's Caitlin. Caitlin wants to go coast to coast. Throws up a Carter Hill-like shot. I've seen Carter take those and make them. Here's Elworth once again. She's kind of had her way with us inside. Fuller, short shot, doesn't go. And underneath is uh, Swift. Fuller, a, a freshman, Swift, a sophomore, a young team, but playing like veterans out there underneath today. Ellsworth going in again. Not afraid to take it to the hoop, is she? And Caitlin's going to come back. Goes underneath. And they're going to call Caitlin for the charge. As Natalie Spear got in there, got position. Natalie Spear, freshman as well. Caitlin challenges Spear. Gets it across. Pass over, off the glass, doesn't drop. Ellsworth, rainbows a shot up over, but there for the rebound. And Julia gets in there. We're going to call a jump ball. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow will give the ball to the Olympians. Ellsworth is just taking it to the hoop every time. And the height underneath right now, we got nobody that can really match up with, with Swift and Fuller under there underneath. They're just having their way with the rebounds. See what Coach Lumsden comes up with as Emerson Fuller will go to the line shooting two. short oh let's see way back when we did play them back in December uh, 16th I remember the game we won 65 48 short on that one as well Is that the, we, did, we did not play them down there I guess that was the only game was here at home back on Thursday December 16th Cats came out on top of that one, 65-48, but uh, I'll tell you what. Hey, Ella is Stella. Stella Ella with a big three to knock things up, 8-8. Eight, eight. Ellsworth coming around. She's going to take one. 
Ellsworth on fire. Six points for the so eight points for the sophomore. She got eight out of the uh, ten Olympian points here. An Olympian effort so far by Maggie Ellsworth. Ellsworth picks up her second foul. Cats will inbounds. Christensen way back, knocked away. Izzy B, the busy B going in there now. Kalen goes up, blocked down by Fuller. Ellsworth knocked away by Isabel. That's why she's the busy B. Swarming around everywhere. Nice defense by the freshman. Olympians up 10-8. One minute left to go in the first quarter. Christensen. Alexis Christensen, second three. The A to the B of the Christensen connection. Makes it a one-point lead. Seesaw action here from the den on a Saturday afternoon. Cold out. I had eight, eight above on my car. Ellsworth sort of slipped. She was looking for Ellsworth, but Ellsworth sort of slipped, and Isabel let that one slip through as well. So we're going to set it up. See what happens here. Cats will press. Might be chilly outside, but I'll tell you what, it's hot inside this gym right now. Cats harassing them back here, trying to create the turnover. Caitlin's got it. Isabel, nice pass in. Alexis underneath, doesn't drop. Rebound. Caitlin puts it back up. Caitlin Davidson, her first points of the game. Cats are going to press again. That was Braley Phelps taking a shot there. No shot. Eight seconds left. Caitlin takes a three. Doesn't drop. Two seconds left. Olympians are going to have to push it. And at the end of one quarter, it has been back and forth here since the very tip-off. We are Hazen Union Lady Cats, leading by a score of 13 to 10 over a tough, tough Olympians team. Olympians come with the number 17. Cats at number two. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable down, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jim on camera. Um, I talked about how Randy had gotten uh, Coach of the Year and Caitlin was Player of the Year for the Mountain Division. Uh, Alexis Christensen made the first team. Caitlin, of course, made first team. Second team, uh, Ella. And third team for Mountain Division was Haley Mitchett and the Barefoot Contessa, Tessa Luther. And the Pete Hart Award went to Haley Mitchett. Uh, Pete Hart was a longtime reporter for the, uh, and still reporter, and uh, loved the game of basketball. And basically everybody who plays with respect and plays hard and is determined and is a good teammate and is a positive force out there on the court gets the Pete Hart Award. So it's a very nice award to get. Uh, our Haley Mitchett was the recipient of that, so... Lots of uh, lots of good things happening. Of course, I've got to mention, too, our JV team went undefeated. Your Lady Cats come in with a record of 19-1. Uh, and one. Throttled Winooski in the play down. But they got a little bit uh, tougher team out here today. Nice cut underneath Alexis Christensen. Eight points for the senior. Cats press. Ellsworth gets it up. Phelps lost her dribble. Caitlin's going to come back with it. Still trying to get it. Phelps with her. She's going to get fouled. Phelps was just trying to do all she could. Bradley Phelps, a freshman, was trying to do all she could. But Caitlin. And Caitlin was having a little bit of trouble getting a handle on that ball as well. So Caitlin with a chance to extend the lead. Cats up 15-10 right now. Off the back of the rim on her first one. Hate to leave points at the free throw line like that. This is one of those games where every single point is going to count. That one's short. DeGrosier had it. Gets it up to Spear. 
Isabel back with her. Isabel wasn't going to give Spear the easy hoop. The freshman, Natalie Spear. Off on her free throw as well. Spear, second free throw off, rebound. JD, Julia de Groslier. Julia, inside turnaround, surrounded. Travel, they're gonna call it travel. Referee Randy Miller with the travel. Inbounds, goes to Spear. Getting back to uh, Bradley Phelps. Spear, over to Ellsworth, keeps it in. Caitlin's going to come up with that one. Ellsworth back. Dips up underneath Caitlin Davison. Cats up seven. Seven minutes left in the first half. Press has worked pretty good for the Cats so far since they've switched to it. Here's Spear getting it up ahead. Turn around. One dribble. Come up. They're going to call a foul. Foul called on Ella Gillespie is going to send uh, Libby Swift to the line. Shooting two. 6.51 left to go here in the first half. Swift. This is on the first one. Gets that one in off the glass. Cuts the lead to six. And now the Olympians are going to press. Ellsworth all over Alexis. A couple of Olympians players collide. Phelps goes down. Caitlin back. Alexis freed up for the three short. Referee Randy Miller blows his whistle. Hometown crowd likes it. Foul called on Natalie Spear, her first. Ella, cross court. Caitlin, Alexis freed up for another three. She'll sink that one. Three threes in the first half so far for Alexis Christensen. Give her a total of 11 points and a nine point lead right now for your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Spear having a tough time. Alexis gets that one away from her. Underneath Caitlin. KKK Caitlin, six points, and Coach Jay Clark wants a timeout as the Cats have now doubled up the Oxbow Olympians, 22-11 with 6-13 left to go in the first half, courtesy of that press, some nice defense, some turnovers, and uh, they're just kind of executing out here right now. Executing well. Once again, this winner of this game plays the winner of the Thetford-Richford game that's going on right now, and... The winner of, of those two games goes to the odd, yes, the fabled Barry Auditorium next Thursday, March 2nd. Uh, time is to be determined. I'm not sure on that. It wasn't on the schedule when I looked at it. Jim, raucous tonight, isn't it? Or this afternoon, I should say. This is what, it, this is what it's all about. High school basketball in its finest. All right. Oxbow on the inbounds. Looks like Hazen's backing off the press for the moment. Here comes Spear. Over to Ellsworth. Drops it over Phelps. Alexis almost tied her up. Ellsworth. Puts up the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound Ellsworth. Chases her own shot down. Puts it up again. Still no good. Underneath. Battling. And now we're going to get a travel call on Emerson Fuller. Okay, Natalie Spear and Braley Phelps move up. The Olympian's gonna try a press now. 
They're going to press their luck on this and see what happens. And Ellsworth ties up Caitlin. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Olympians. So they got what they wanted. They got a turnover out of it. I was say, unless somebody forgot to flip the arrow, I saw, I saw Olympians. Karen's been down there a long time. She's not gonna, she's gonna mess that up. Underneath Ellsworth, nowhere to go. Tied up, Caitlin. We get another jump ball and possession arrow. Now we'll give the ball to the Lady Cats. Let's see if somebody can get something going here. Right now we got kind of a game of tug of war going on out here. Underneath Caitlin. Phelps on her. Caitlin, beautiful pass. The girls are back, gets it to Alexis. Alexis drive inside, puts up a shot. Ellsworth up ahead to Phelps. Phelps, that shot's off. Rebound, Isabel Gowan. Isabel, turn around, traveled. Youth. Excitement and inexperience right there is what it is. It's a freshman. Freshman mistake. And Noel Kozlowski goes in and Libby Swift comes out. Here's Spear. 5-10 left to go in the first half. I've been scoring for a little bit here. Catch still got that 11 point lead, 22-11. Ellsworth turns, shot. Doesn't go. Rebound underneath. Julia gets a body on there. Ball goes off of the catch. Tessa back in now. Isabel came out. The barefoot Contessa. Here's Ellsworth. Ten points for the sophomore. She's a shooter. Or I should say drive. The girl's not afraid to drive. As neither is Caitlin. Caitlin puts up a shot. She'll draw the foul. Caitlin to the line. Caitlin, first free throw. In and out. And rattles that one home. Seven points for Caitlin Davison. Ten-point lead for the Cats. 4.45 left to go in the first half. Here's Ellsworth for the Olympians. Going inside. Ella knocked that one away from Fuller. Nice pass inside. Caitlin anticipated that one. And we're going to have a foul. We're going to have a foul. Here comes Randy Miller. He'll let us know. Foul called on Ellsworth. Her third with 4.33 left to go in the first half. Ellsworth's got 10 of the 13 points. So she's going to come out. They're going to put in uh, An Anastase Burgoyce. I'm going to go with. Caitlin. It trips it to Ella. Ella underneath. Blocked. Blocked by Fuller. Here's Phelps. Underneath Fuller. Four points for Emerson Fuller. She's a freshman. 23-15. Olympians chipping away. Cats looking for a hoop. Long three. <clears throat> she took that one almost from the student section. Front lobby like. Three-point attempt right there. Alexis, so deceptively quick with her feet and her hands out there. Hailstorm in. Ella's going to go out. Can try and match up Haley Mitchett over there with uh, Emerson Fuller. Here on the near side, Burgoyce, drop pass in, turn around, 
travel. That's Noel Kozlowski on the travel. Tessa on the inbounds. Olympians, a full court press. Burgoyne's on Alexis. Drop Haley wide open underneath. Hailstorm. Haley Mitchell raining down on the Olympian as soon as she gets in there. Back up to a 10 point lead. 325 left to go here in the first half. Phelps with a long shot. That's a two pointer for Braley Phelps. Her first points of the game for the freshman. Both these teams looking to punch their ticket to the odd. Caitlin underneath. Shot and the foul. Beautiful move by Caitlin Davison. Foul called on Koslowski. And we're now in the bonus. That was the seventh team foul for the Olympians. We'll be shooting one and ones from here on out with 3.05 left to go in the first half. Caitlin completes a three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Spear. Barefoot Contessa comes out to meet her. Well, if Tessa hadn't have fallen, Spear lost her dribble. I don't know if, if Tessa falling caused Spear to lose her dribble. But anyway, Spear gets it back, goes around, scores her first hoop of the night. 28-19. Alexis. Three-pointer. Four three-pointers for the A to the B. And the Christians in connection. Every time we need a three-pointer, Alexis throws one up, puts one down. 31-19. Haley in there trying to work hard against Fuller, but Fuller still got that little bit of height on her. Fuller able to knock that one down. 10-point lead, 217 and ticking here in the first half. Phelps gets that one away from Caitlin. Here comes Spear. She's got Tessa on her. And Spear loses it off her foot. I thought she lost it off her foot. They're going to give the ball. Referee Shannon Sweet's going to give the ball to the Olympians. I thought Spear lost it off her foot. Maybe Tessa got her foot under there. Hard saying. Nobody contesting. And I'm setting quite a way, so. I'm just going to go with it. It's Phelps back. Spear. Phelps sets the screen. That's Burgoy. Inside. Turnaround. Shot and the hoop for Bagoyce. And she'll go to the, no, that's, uh, excuse me, I got the wrong name. Uh, Fuller, Fuller, no. Yeah, Fuller. Emerson Fuller with that one. Getting my twos, I'm seeing too many twos. She's 20, the other one's 22. Short on that one, and Katz will get that one. So it's uh, Emerson Fuller with eight points now. Defense! Davison dips inside, draws a foul. Foul called on Natalie Spear, her second. 142 left. Uh, they're going to give Caitlin two. Caitlin zeroing in on the free throw line now after a few misses early. Second shot good, yeah, dead eye. Ten put back up to a 10-point lead for the Lady Cats with 140 left to go here in the first half. Spear working against Alexis. Kitlin over to help out. Here's Phelps. Tessa on her. Here's Spear. Phelps wants to dribble inside. Puts up a shot. In and out. Did everything but go through the hoop. Going to give the ball back to Oxbow. Stolen away. Cross court. Caitlin. They're going to call it on. on uh, 
Spear, I believe. Send Caitlin back to the line. Spears third foul with 113 left to go here in the first half. Caitlin misses on that one. I don't know. Caitlin, I, I think Caitlin needs to report it. Maybe 630, 6, 630. Got to make 100 in a row before you go home. All right, 630. Yeah, 630. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 13 points unofficially for Caitlin Davis in the first half. 34-23 your score. Cats back to the press. And yeah, we're going to have a jump ball. And the possession arrow will give the ball to the Lady Cats as Libby Swift is going to check back in. And Noel Koslowski is going to come out. Okay, we got one minute left to go in the first half. Cats up 34-23. Caitlin Davison with the ball. She's going to put up a three, and it's not going to drop. A rebound. Haley Mitchell wrestles it away. Tessa can't get the shot underneath to Haley. Beautiful. The barefoot contested to Hailstorm. Haley Mitchell. what a play right there. To go. Just nice basketball right there. Tessa thought she had the shot. Didn't see it. And after she thought she was going to take it, Hale, freed up Haley by sort of the hesitation. And just a great, great basketball move right there. 37.6 left to go in the first half. Uh, Osmo coach Jay Clark wants to take a timeout, talk things over. Uh, we've seen that full court press just work its magic here today. To perfection. Take a little bit of a lull in the action here. A little bit of basketball trivia. It's Kurt Rambis's birthday. If anybody remembers the great Laker teams of the uh, mid to late 80s, it's the guy who wore the glasses, wore like the Clark Kent glasses out there. Great player. I was, I was never a fan of the Lakers. I was Celtics fans. So I didn't like the Lakers, but Rambus was a great player. Here comes Phelps. Knocked away. The Bear from Contessa. She's going to take it all the way. Blocked out by Phelps. Tessa wanted that one. Phelps there with a nice D. Blocks it away. Cats will set it up. Try it again underneath their own hoop at 28.5. Left to go here in the first half. Alexis in. Caitlin over to Tessa. Tessa switches, pass back out. Christensen is going to take another three. Misses that one. Here comes Ellsworth. Pass over. Can't get it to go. Natalie knocks that one away. Caitlin with a heads up play. Knocking the ball off of uh, Swift to retain the possession or, or gain possession. You got 10 seconds. Caitlin getting it across. Caitlin over to Alexis. It'll count if it goes. Oh, it doesn't go. With time expiring, they had freed up Alexis for the three-pointer, but it doesn't go. So at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading a game Oxbow Olympians team here by a score of 36-23 to 23 in VPA quarterfinal action. Once again, winner of this game goes to the odd next Thursday. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Jim on camera. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back at the start of the second half. Okay, we are just about ready for second half action here in this quarterfinal playoff game. From the den here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont, your Hazen Union Lady Cats, number two seed, taking on the number seven seed Oxbow Olympians. Cats up by a score of 36 23. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on a cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim on camera. Our sponsors today Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. And, uh, I tell you, we're so busy in the beginning, I, I want to put out a, a special thank you to 
my bosses up there at CNC Supermarket, Ray and Jessica Sweeney, for freeing me up this afternoon to come down and do the call for you. Our schedule maker, Donald LeClaire, and the part-timer that we have up there, Joey Crawford, who came in a couple hours early so that I could come down here and do the game. Takes a village to pull this all off, but uh, happy to be here for everybody. Got to do the spart starting lineups, which is always a thrill. That spotlight, the lights go down, that spotlight comes up. It's pretty awesome. Just an amazing thing to, and a privilege to be a part of, really, Hazen Union basketball, and what a season it's been. All right, Ellsworth playing with three fouls. Drives in, she is not afraid to drive. She had 10 points in the first half and makes a bucket right there. 36-25. Cuts the lead to 12. Or 11, I mean, sorry. 11. Tessa hands off to Caitlin. Caitlin drifts around, pass inside. Ella doesn't go. Ella trying to get the rebound. Emerson Fuller with the rebound. And we saw Emerson Fuller and Libby Swift raise a little havoc in there. Ellsworth once again, drive down, doesn't get the drop on that one. Here's Caitlin. Fires a three, makes a three. Caitlin, 13 points in the first half, making 16 overall now with that three-pointer. Puts the Cats back up 39-25. Once again, winner of this game goes to the odd for the winner of the Richford-Thetford game, which I'm going to try and get a score at some point for you. Caitlin holds up, pass over. Ella, Ella takes a three off the back of the rim. Rebound, Caitlin going in to rebound, tries to get it away. Ellsworth, you don't see that happen very often. Somebody getting the ball away from Caitlin, but Ellsworth, tough player. Drive inside, puts it up, left-hander. 14 points for the sophomore. Ellsworth gets in front of that one. It's all Maggie, Maggie Ellsworth here in the second half for the Olympians. Drives in, six straight points for Maggie Ellsworth. 10 point lead for the Cats, 6-10. Caitlin traveled. Extra hop and a skip in there. Gotta hand it to the Oxbow fans. They're giving it right over to the uh, Hazen student section here. Welcome to the Rock'em, Sock'em, Never Say Die, Live on the Razor's Edge world of high school basketball quarterfinal playoffs. You think this is something? Where do you get down to the odd? Inside, Hailstorm. And going to call. They're going to call Libby Swift on the foul, and you can see Coach Jay Clark just back off, play D. Five forty, forty left. Cats up ten in the third. Caitlin driving on Phelps, slips it off Alexis inside. Nice pass inside. Hailstorm wanted to get it over to uh, Tessa, but Natalie Spear got a hand on it in there to knock it out of bounds. Nice play by Spear. Christensen into Caitlin. Caitlin, turnaround, short shot, gets the roll. 18 points for Caitlin Davison. Ellsworth throws one up short, rebound underneath. Make sure I get the numbers right. That is Emerson Fuller. 10 points for Fuller. Caitlin, off the glass. She'll shoot two. Foul called on Levy Swift, her second. 5.04 left to go in the third. Cats up 10. Caitlin with a chance. She's been hit or miss from the free throw line. More misses than hits, I think. I mean, shoot one, two, three, four, five. I was probably shooting 50 50. I'm going to keep track, but I'm going to go 50 50. Rolls that one in. 19 points.
Phelps wants to drive. Tessa right there. Tessa, the barefoot contestant, doing what she does best. Playing D. Alexis Christian up off the side. Ellsworth with that one. Going to be a foot race back. Ella's back. Ellsworth. Eight points here in the second half. She's kind of putting this team on her back. Davison in and out. Ella is Stella underneath blocked. I... Shannon Sweet with a whistle. Come on, Sweet! He's going to ring up uh, Emerson Fuller. No! Um, for the foul. I don't know. He was standing right there. So I, I saw all ball, but Shannon Sweet was standing within two feet of it. So maybe he saw something different. Ella is Stella. Second one in. That's what wins your ball games right there, making free throws. 44-33. 4.20 left to go in the third. Ellsworth's going to pop a three. Short. Here comes Alexis. Takes a look over. Pass over. Davison's going to go underneath. Pass over. Tessa wide open. Three if it goes. Got to the rim. Rebound. Fuller. Gets it over to Phelps. Chan of defense going up by the student section. Ellsworth throws up a shot, but everything she's throwing up has been going, so why not? Keep it going, as long as you got the hot hand. Alexis Christensen talking about somebody with a hot hand. Not on that shot, but she made four three-pointers in the first half. Ellsworth's going to take a three. That one drops. Fuller underneath. Fuller with a rebound. 12 points for Emerson Fuller. Unofficially, this score, the scoring is all unofficial. 44-35. Tessa gets that one back to Ella. Fuller on her. Libby Swift parked underneath. Tessa. Ella back out. Swift and... and Fuller are just too too tall underneath there. Caitlin tries to drive. Phelps almost lost the handle on that one. Gets it back. Spear, top of the key. Ellsworth. She's going to drive. Splits the D. Puts up the shot. Doesn't go, but right there for the rebound was Libby Swift. 44-37, I'll tell you, Oxbow's not going away. This game is a long ways from over. Caitlin blocked out by Swift. And back in goes JD. Julia DeGrosier and Ella Gillespie comes out. 225 left to go in the third. Cats up 44-37, but I'll tell you, this, I don't, this is too close for me. Spear falls down. Tessa's going to take a three. That one's going to rainbow over. Alexis comes back. Haley. From inside, not where she's used to shooting from, but why not? Might have got away with a travel on that one. Here's Spear. Blocked out. Caitlin blocked out on Ellsworth on that one. Olympians will retain. Nice block by Caitlin on Ellsworth, though. 2.02 left. Uh, Oxbow, Spear, inside, puts it up, doesn't go. Rebound comes back. Phelps is going to get that one. Alexis got a hand on it. Here's Ellsworth inside. Turnaround, Fuller doesn't go. Haley knocks that one out. Here comes Christensen. Coach Lumsden wants a timeout. Takes the timeout on that one. The ball coming up the court with 146 left. He wants to set something up, I guess. 
Uh, Cats with a 44 to 37 lead, and I have, it is a final now. Thetford did beat Richford, 51-38. Uh, so Thetford is the number three seed going to next Thursday's semifinal at the odd. Cats at the number two, Olympians at the number seven. We got 146 left to go in the third, then another quarter, and I'll tell you what. This this I'm gonna I'm gonna say that right now. This is a bona fide cheek clencher right here, this game. See what Coach Lumpson set up. Going on the inbounds, Alexis Christensen on the far side. Caitlin. Alexis fell down. All right, so let's play D. Let's see if we get that press going again. That worked really well. Ellsworth stops, drops inside. She was looking for Swift inside. A whole bunch of hands underneath there. Fuller back to Swift. Swift with Haley on her. Swift drives inside. Gets a shot. Libby Swift. Five point game, folks. Hazen needs a hoop. They need a hoop now. 115 left to go in the third. Takeaway. That and we got a tie jump ball and possession arrow. We'll give the ball back to the Wildcats, but I'll tell you right now, a little, a little bit of momentum on the Olympian side. Caitlin, top of the key, drops it over. Tessa with Spear on her. Night anticipation. Oh, and Alexis got it back. What are they going to call? Sh Shannon Sweet calls a foul. Sorry, Shannon, I disagree with you on that one. I don't do this very often. I leave it up to the men in the striped shirts. I didn't see it on that. I didn't see it. I'm going to agree to disagree with that call. Caitlin gets the ball back. Isabel Gowan comes back with it. Dodge a bullet right there. Caitlin over to Alexis. Wide open for the three. Short. That's short. 36 seconds left. Cats press, here's Ellsworth, Under, wide open underneath. Oh, didn't drop, got the rebound, gonna draw a foul. Didn't drop for Fuller, but she draws the foul. Foul called on Alexis Christensen, her, uh, no, foul called on Isabel. 26.3. Phelps, back to Ellsworth. Ellsworth gonna drive, put up a shot, gets it to go. Eight seconds, we got a three point game. Oxbow is chipped and chipped and chipped. Eh, dagger! K -k 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 Caitlin Davison as time expired in the third with a big three-pointer to increase that lead back up to six. That was huge. Huge as Maggie Ellsworth had two, four, six, eight, either 10 or 12 here in the second half to just, uh, and, and Emerson Fuller with uh, I think either six, I think it's six. Uh, Caitlin has had two three-pointers, a, a field goal and a free throw in the second half. So nine points for her, but 
any way you slice it, we got ourselves a ball game here. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnse.org. Jim on camera, and right now, the Oxwell fan base has out cheered the Hazen fan base. We'll see if we can get it going. A lot of people making a drive up I-91 from Bradford for this game. It's a nice drive. Bradford's a nice town. Used to go there every other week when I had my previous job. Bliss store right on Main Street. Great place to get a meal. Going to call a jump ball possession arrow. Gives the ball to the Lady Cats. Getting down where just every possession, every chance to put any points on the board is huge. We've left a lot of points at the free throw line this afternoon. Turn, dip, Alexis, drop it. Drop it like a rocket. 49-41, eight points lead, 7.30 left to go in the ball game. Phelps, spins. Three jerseys right around here. Gets it underneath the Fuller. Fuller gets hacked. She's going to go to the line. Foul called on Haley Mitchett. Her first. Both teams, just three team fouls. So we're a bit of a ways right now from shooting one and ones. And once again, the winner of this game will play number three seeded Thetford. Thursday, March 2nd at the odd. Emerson Fuller makes the free throw. Second free throw. Doesn't go. Rebound. And uh, JD and uh, Libby Swift going for it. They call it going off Swift. Isabel into Caitlin. Caitlin just inside the three-point line, drops. Kick, 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 Caitlin Davison. 51-42. Phelps to Spear. Over to Ellsworth. Foul called on Isabel Gowan. They're going to give Ellsworth two shots. Isabel's third foul. Randy talking to Coach Lumsden, talking to referee Randy Miller. Not happy with the call. <laughs> Ellsworth drops. I've lost track of, of Maggie Ellsworth's points. She had 10 in the first half. I'm going to say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 13. 14. I'm going to call it 24 right now, but that's real unofficial. Uh, I think I may have, I don't know if I've given her too many or too few or whatever, but uh, she's had a whale of a second half. Alexis Christensen off the rim. Rebound goes to Fuller. 51-44, your score. 6.30 left. Cats clinging to that seven-point lead. Ella Gillespie's going to check in the next opportunity. Ellsworth taking away Alexis Christensen. Alexis with spear on her stops, puts up the shot, doesn't go. Isabel trying to get Isabel goes in, gets a rebound up underneath Phelps. Mitcha drops it over. Alexis back to Caitlin. Set things back up here. Maybe run a little clock. Six minutes. Caitlin pass inside. Blocked out. Julia going up with a shot, blocked out by Libby Swift. Ella Gillespie checks in. Hailstorm's going to come out. Ella Estella. Here's Isabel with spear on her. Julia back to Ella. Alexis over. Caitlin here on the near side. Ella dropped it inside to Julia, but Swift is just too much height. 
too much height inside, and these girls have the really long arms, have great reach. It's hard to do anything inside when, when you've got Swift and, and Fuller in there. Fuller's a freshman, Swift's a sophomore. Man, Coach Jay Clark's got to be salivating at the opportunities he's going to have in the coming years. It's a young team. Underneath. And they're going to call a charge. Call Libby Swift for clearing her with the forearm shiver. 5.30 left, 51-44. Jay Clark wants him to come out. He knows we're trying to run clock now. He wants the challenge. He's bringing his defense out. Ellsworth on Christensen. Goes into a double team. Tessa's standing there. Here's Spear. Caitlin with Phelps. Pass over. The girls there back to Christensen. Ellsworth tries to reach. He's playing with three. Cats underneath. Caitlin. Seals it. That possession it is. And Coach Jay Clark wants a timeout. Randy's calling his team over. 4.43 left to go here in the ball game. Cats up by a score of 53 to 44. Assistant Coach Michael Ferdos says they're going to take a full timeout. What a game. Once again, these two teams did play back early in the year. It was a uh, Thursday night, December 16th. Came up here to the Den. Cats came away with a 65-48 win that night. Score right now, fairly close to that. A lot of time left, though. And with the way Ellsworth is, is lighting them up and Fuller, I, I think they're going to get more than 48 in this game. Great ball game. Oh, useless trivia. It's National Clam Chowder Day. As cold as it is, you know, I could I could go for some clam chowder by the time I'm done with this. Real nice to have some clam chowder. All right, so we're going to line things back up out here with 443 left to go in your ball game. Oxbow with the inbounds. Get your popcorn ready, folks. I think this is going to be a good finish. There's Phelps. Ellsworth. Foot was on the three-point line. It'd be a two if it counts. Swift trying to wrestle the ball away from Caitlin. And they're going to press. Oxbow's going to press. They're going to make us earn it. They're going to call a foul on Alexis. Her and uh, I think it was Ellsworth that were just really going at it out there. Randy's not happy with the call, but they were really trying to get position out there. Shot up. There's the height for Libby Swift. Seven points for the sophomore. 420 left to go in your ball game. Caitlin drops it over. Julia on the far side. Caitlin underneath. Wide open underneath. Ella Gillespie shot in the foul. Stella. Ella is Stella. Left her wide open right underneath the paint there. Third foul on Fuller with 4-10 left to go in the ball game. Ella go to the line. Trying to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Doesn't go. Rebound Swift. Gets it over to Ellsworth. Hate to leave those points at the free-throw line like that, man. Ellsworth puts up a shot. Rolls over... Off of Hayes and ball to go to Oxbow. 3.49 left to go in the game. Cats up nine. 
inside. Swift, I mean, all she's got to do is catch the ball and put it up. We got nobody that's going to contend with that height. Kaylin. Cats. We're going to run clock or we're going to go for a hoop? Pass back out. Here's Tessa. Ella underneath. We saw him do this last time and free up Ella underneath. So trying to do the same thing again. Randy Miller's going to blow his whistle and they're going to call Ellsworth. And that'll be Ellsworth's fourth with 3.20 left. She came into the second half with carrying three fouls. So she played the third quarter and more than half of the fourth without a foul. But unfortunately, they're a throwaway right there. That's sloppy. We're going to play better than that. Don't give Ellsworth those opportunities underneath there like that. I, Clyde Cook calls it off of Oxbow. 3.13 left. They get it into Caitlin with Phelps right on her. Caitlin takes a look behind her, slows it down. There's Spear, gets it back to Tessa. Alexis Christensen dribbles inside. Julia over on the far side. Here's Caitlin underneath. They're going to call a foul. And I believe that's her. Yeah, we're in a bonus now with three minutes left. She'll be shooting one and ones. And let's just hope we can convert some of these free throws. We have left a lot of points at the free throw line today. A lot of points. Kaylin looking to hit the front end of the one and one. Makes it. Clutch. Twenty-eight unofficially for Caitlin Davison in this game. Second free throw, good. There, that, that is how it is done. Get the opportunity, seize the opportunity. Spear going to take a shot from just inside. Goes out of bounds. Two forty-four left. Hailstorm coming in. Julia DeGroslier. JD comes in, comes out. Hailstorm in. Alexis gets it in. Underneath Ella. Back to Alexis. Ellsworth on her. Tessa. Tips it out to Caitlin. Caitlin. Hailstorm. They've run this play like over and over and over again. Tessa underneath, blocked out. Tessa battling though, gets the rebound. There you go, the barefoot Contessa right there continues the possession for the Lady Cats. Loses it off her foot though. Spear comes up with it. You have to work quick, 2.13 left. Spear up and off the glass. Nice play, Natalie Spear. Her first points of the second half, four overall for the freshman. And Ellsworth just fouled out. Tough game. Great game by Maggie Ellsworth. 8, 10, 12, 14. I got her with 24 unofficially, but that girl has played a game. She's a sophomore. They'll be back. This whole team will be back. Getting a standing O from a crowd, she should. She has kept this team, Oxbow, in the game here in the second half. 57-50. Cats up seven with 2.04 left. Caitlin at the line. Hits the front end of the one and one. Second one. Four in a row. Two straight one and ones. Randy's going to take a timeout and talk things over with 2.04 left to go in the ball game. Cats up 59 250 here at the Den. Once again, we're waiting for the seedings to come out. I'm not sure if they're going to come out Sunday or Monday for the boys. We know we'll have at least one playoff game here at the Den. Maybe two. But we should have at least one this coming week. Thinking it would be either Tuesday or Wednesday.
All right. Line them up. Noel Kozlowski goes in for Oxbow. The twin towers of Libby Swift and Emerson Fuller underneath there. Natalie Spear and Braley Phelps. We've got Caitlin, Tessa, Stella, Ella Stella. Oxbow scores, I didn't see the number. I was looking at, at our players. Ella, Alexis, Texas, Caitlin, Haley. 144, seven point lead. Cats playing stall ball. Tessa across, drops it back. Caitlin Phelps. Caitlin retains her dribble, gets it back. Tessa comes down with it. Oh, things are just going our way right now. Tessa underneath the barefoot Contessa. Her first points of the game, but I'll tell you what, Tessa's done a lot more than score points out here today. Girl brought her lunchbox with her today. She's been working. Puts the Cats back up 61 52 with 118 left. I, I apologize to the. Uh, Oxbow player that I missed who got that last hoop. I was, I was trying to get everybody that was on the floor for both teams. She kind of dipped underneath. She was on the other side behind some players. So my apologies to that player. 118 left to go. 61 52, your score. I'll do a quick read of our sponsors. I think it's going to be kind of bedlam here when this game is over. Uh, once again, you have been watching Lady Cats action right here on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Jim on camera. Having a good time here at the Den. Cats look to close this thing out with 118 left. Punch their ticket for the odd. Oxbow looking to come back. See what happens. Either way, Oxbow's gonna have to move quick. Down nine, clock ticking. 109 left in the game. Spear. Phelps inside. Swift, turn around, up over Haley, doesn't drop. Caitlin with the rebound. And Caitlin's just going to amble up the court, and they're going to have to foul. They're going to foul. They're going to foul. 51.8. And uh, I'm going to send Caitlin to the line. Thirty-one points for Caitlin Davison is what I've got. Five free throws in a row now. See if we can make it six. Rolls in. That is how you win ball games, folks. Hitting the one and ones leads up to eleven. Forty-five seconds. Phelps takes a three, does everything but go. And Fuller goes up and gets fouled with 37.5. Foul called on Ella Gillespie. Phelps, or Fuller. Fuller's first free throw, no good. Again, Oxbow, a young team, and this this team and another next year and a year after that. Gonna be scary good. Scary good. Quick foul. Fourth foul called on Braley Phelps. I'm gonna send Caitlin to the line, who has been just shooting at a torrid pace this tail end of this game from the free throw line. Continues to roll them in. Seven in a row from the line for Caitlin Davison. Caitlin, you're excused from free throw practice tomorrow morning. Yeah, take the next day off too. 
Cats up by a score of 65 to 53. 30 seconds left. Chan of Barry Odd going up. 20 seconds. Caitlin's going to hang on to it. Phelps on her. Caitlin drops it over. Is playing keep away now. 14 seconds. Alexis. Tessa's going to pick that one up. Clock running down. Three, two, one. And how about we go down to the odd next Thursday evening to take on the number three seeded Thetford Panthers is your Hazen Union Lady Cats winning today by a score of 65 to 53 in a great game here from the odd. And I'll tell you what, my hat's off to the Oxbow Olympians, their coach Jay Clark, Michael Ferdo. Great, great team that gave us everything we wanted here today and a team that I think has a bright, bright future. And Hazen Union Lady Cats basketball looking pretty bright as well. Our JV team went undefeated. Our varsity team still has not lost a game since the opening night of the season. So once again, it is your Hazen Union Lady Cats going to the odd next Thursday, March 2nd. Tickets are only going to be available online. I do know that. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable down, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jim on camera. We'll have boys playoff action this coming week. And... Uh, Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.